Ding, ding, ding. WSDN. We're here today to talk about onboarding and integrating new staff to a worker self-directed nonprofit. I'll be interviewing Chris, who's been working at a worker self-directed nonprofit for about one week. Chris, how's it going so far? Yeah, it's great. It's it's a uh, it's information overload. Oh boy. All right. Well, we're we're gonna have to come back to that topic um, in just a bit. In the meantime. I'd like to talk to Janelle, who's been working at the Worker Self-Directed Nonprofit for about a year. Janelle, what's your reaction to, to Chris? Well, I have to admit this is becoming a little bit from familiar because at a Worker Self-Directed Nonprofit, it's kind of an adjustment for every new staff member. So at Sustainable Economies Law Center, we're in a constant process of refining our onboarding and orientation process because the reality is that anyone who's worked in the conventional work world is used to something really different. So there's an adjustment period, and it can be quite disorienting for people. So, so this is OK for Chris. For, for anyone, it takes a bit of adjustment. Yeah, you know what I find particularly disorienting is I, I keep looking up expecting there to be a boss standing over me telling me whether I've done a good job or not. Where's my boss? Are you my boss? Well, I'm your peer, which means that along with 10 other of your coworkers, I'll be providing you feedback on your work and helping you figure out what your roles are going to be in the organization and collaborating with you. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, can we just make it easier and say you're my boss? Okay. All right. We'll say that I'm your boss if you'll be my boss. Deal? Wait. Now I also have to be a boss? This is too much. I need a break. Can I have a break? Yeah, you don't even need to ask permission to have a break because that's what's great about being at a worker self-directed nonprofit. You are self-directed. You can take a break when you need one. You do the work that you feel you need to do when you need to do it, with the input of your coworkers, of course. Oh yeah. I guess I could get used to that. I figured you could get used to it. It just takes time. We find that most people do eventually embrace the freedom and autonomy that comes with working at a worker self-directed nonprofit. And and, you know, I think what people find is that they can just do their work more effectively. And it's just, in our organization, we admittedly have some work to do to improve our process of onboarding. So it's not all sunshine and roses at a worker self-directed nonprofit? I mean, not even at Sustainable Economies Law Center, the most amazing and wonderful organization that I know? Nope, not even at Sustainable Economies Law Center, the most amazing and wonderful organization you know. All right. This episode of WSDN was brought to you by the Sustainable Economies Law Center. The Sustainable Economies Law Center endorses the views in this video, especially the part about us being amazing and wonderful.